Hey guys, and welcome back to Love for Plants. We are finally to where we can set our plants outside and not have to bring them back in every night. So I wanted to show you what I have going on. I'm gonna be doing some repotting today and show you why I repot certain things and why I'm not repotting others. Um, first of all though, I had, I think almost every variety of my different boccia um, sitting in the garage when it got cold the past couple of weeks just at night and I totally forgot about them because I've been working hard in my garden and in my veg in my raised beds. Totally forgot, so now they look a little sad. So I'm gonna show you what I do on that first. Here you can see this one. He does not need repotted. However, he does need trimmed off. He has a lot of dead. He didn't get much light in the garage. Not very good. Um, so to make him look pretty outside, you can go ahead and cut most of his bad leaves off. The, the little ones, I'm just gonna cut them off. Um, some of the lower ones that look a little bad are gonna get cut off. Um, I think I got one more little one that's not in the best shape. Now for these other ones, I'm not gonna cut the whole leaf off. I think I'm just gonna trim around it and give it that nice little shape that it had. Um, because this pot, this plant does not need repotted. So let me trim up these leaves. And what I do is I really just go right around the corner. Um, nothing difficult about it. I just don't want to cut off all the leaves, um, and leave me nothing. So this one's pretty rough. I might actually just snip him, but this is what I, what you get, I guess when you forget about your plants. And like this one, his leaf is bad on this side. Um, I have enough foliage up top that I think I'm gonna cut that one off too. But now he can get a good start this summer. Um, that bad leaf I'm gonna leave there for now. Same with this one. Um, but he doesn't need repotted. He just needed cleaned up a little bit. So um, where I cut down in here, um, these will actually turn yellow later and you can just pull them off. And that's on all of your dumb cane. Be careful, the sap inside of that is toxic, only if consumed, you guys. So you can take it, as long as you're not putting it, your hands in your mouth, it might cause a little skin irritation, but besides that, it's not bad unless you eat it. Um, so you can use your hands on them, you can put gloves on them, just wash your hands every time when you're done. All right, let me set this one back here. Same with this one. I left him in the garage too long. He really doesn't look too bad. Um, the light kind of hurt a lot of them. So what I'm gonna do, this one's pretty yellow. You can normally just pull them down and they come off. He actually doesn't look terrible. He does not need repotted either. You guys, just because your plants look a little bad does not always mean there's something wrong with them. I obviously know what's wrong with these. They were in the garage. It's a little colder. They didn't get the sunlight they needed. But other than that, he doesn't need repotted either. I mean, not every plant needs repotted. Let me put him up there. Um, my favorite. He actually did okay in the garage. I got these two leaves right here that I'm actually gonna cut off. I think those are the only bad ones he had. Um, other than that, he looks beautiful. He does not need repotted. Hold on, I'll show you this in a minute. Um, you can see his roots. Let me see. You can see some of his roots. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna throw dirt on the top of that. Um, let me check the bottom. He does not have roots coming out the bottom. So I'm just gonna cover up his roots with some dirt and that's all he needs done. There's there's no nothing wrong with this plant. Um, a lot of these plants there's nothing wrong with. It may have just been that I neglected them for a while. Um, so what I tend to see is most people kill their plants because they overwater them. And two, they always think they need to repot it. Your plants, most plants can go a very long time without needing a repot. Just because this plant is huge, doesn't mean its roots are that huge, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. Don't go to the store and buy a plant 
and then come home and repot it. Or don't think because it's foliage is huge that it needs a new pot. If everything is looking good on your plant, leave it be, okay? So, let me get some soil over here. And like I said, this one is just going to get soil right on the top to cover his roots. And just like that, he is now done. So let me get him out of the way. Guys, I'm running out of places to put my plants. <laughs> Not very good. Um, all right, this is my other Diffenbachia that was in the garage until he has maybe a couple bad leaves. See, this is what I was talking about. When you pull off a bad leaf, let's see if I can get this in there. Ugh, hold on, you guys. This discoloration, that's from the old one that I pulled off. So you can literally just come right back through here and pull that off. That's just where I pulled old ones. Um, other than that, I took two leaves off of him. He looks beautiful. He does not need repotted either. Okay. Now my bamboo, my lucky bamboo. I've neglected him all winter. You guys, I rarely water my plants in the house. He is dry, 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 um, which is the cause of his yellow leaf. Um, he had really good lighting in the house, but I don't water much in the winter. So what I'm going to do, I just rip that one off. Some of these tips, if you want to, you can trim them up. Now his roots are showing on the top as well, probably because he's been knocked over by somebody or something in the house. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw some dirt on top of him. His roots are not coming through yet, but I'd say they're getting close. Um, but he looks good and healthy. So right now, he is just getting dirt to put on the top. Protect his roots a little bit. And then later, I might trim off some of these bad tips. Because those are a little on the sad side. But other than that, he looks really good. He's going to get soaked tonight. I'm going to water him really well. Um, get him ready to grow. So, there's him. Uh, you guys, I don't even know if I want to show you this next plant. <laughs> this is my camouflage Diffenbachia. It's very sad. I neglected him. He stayed in the garage, and he must have been in a place where he got next to no light. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do with these, these leaves, except cut them off. So... Find out what I do with my scissors. I'm going to take it all the way to this base, you guys. And I'm going to cut it there. And he's going to look funny for a while. Because all of these right here that are just bent are going to have to go. So he will look a little silly for a while. But he will grow outside and produce a lot of new stuff for me this summer. So I had to show you guys how sad he looks. Now, I have some of these leaves that are not looking the best on the tips. I really don't want to remove leaves if I don't have to on him since I've already taken so many off. So this is just going to get a quick trim around. This one's pretty brown all the way around. There's no point in trimming him. No point in trimming that one. He's pretty brown too. But like these tips, I'll just cut those off. And when he fills out and gets new leaves, then I might go back through and cut those off. But he took it hard in the garage. And that's a shame, but you guys, no need to panic. He will grow back. So there I have it. I trimmed all his leaves. I cut all the bent branches off. My poor camouflage will grow again here soon. So I just wanted to show you. We'll watch him. He's pretty bare right now. We'll wa oh, I missed one. We'll watch him grow this summer. And I'll show you that this trim did nothing to hurt him. It made him actually look a lot better. So we'll keep an eye on him. 
And normally when I cut these, I'm just in a hurry today. Um, if you want them to look nice, round them. Try to keep the tips the same as what a normal leaf would look like. Um, he's already in bad shape, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Okay. So those were all plants that did not need repotted. Um, let's get to pots that plants that do need repotted. The fig leaf, he's not retaining moisture and re holding water very well anymore. His roots are starting to come out. Um, I'm going to repot him into something this size because I'm going to have him sitting outside this year. Um, I learned from last year that if you get them in a little bit bigger pot, regardless if you just sit your pot in here or if you repot in here, it makes a difference with the wind to hold your plant up. I had my bamboo that fell down many times last year. So I am actually, I repotted him last year. He's not getting repotted right now, but this will help him from falling over. He's not terribly root bound, um, but he's just... He needs some new soil. He's just not growing much anymore. And we will see him take off this year. So put him in this container. Guys, I used to repot my plants all the time thinking that was what they needed. It's not. Stop repotting if there's no reason. Um, he now will get a good water. He'll retain his moisture a little bit better. That yellow is really going to look good with him. So he has repotted. <clears throat> all right. We got him. He needs repotted. His roots are coming out and he's growing super fast. So I would love to put him in a bigger container than even this, but I know that's not a good idea. So we're going to put him in here. Hopefully that'll last me a couple months. Um, see, since I just pulled him out, see his roots. He definitely needed a repot. Um, he has some nice, healthy roots. We're starting to get rain here. I have to tell you, my family is so excited that my plants are coming out of the house for good for now. So there's that one. I'm going to put him on a trellis, actually. I'm going to put a trellis in here tonight um, so that he starts growing upward. Um, but hopefully he'll last in this pot for a couple months. All right, let's talk about this one. <clears throat> this thing got neglected all winter. That's terrible, I know. He was in this pot. He looked really good this, this past fall. Um, this is the only plant that my husband would let sit on our computer desk in our bedroom. And needless to say, I mean, he still looks really good, but needless to say, my children have knocked it over many times, which is why there's like next to no dirt. So he needs repotted like ASAP before he dies. His roots, I haven't watered him hardly, maybe two or three times all winter. So that shows that, you know, if you guys' plants are dying and you're overwatering them, water a little bit more than this, but he still looks pretty good. A little dusty, um, but I get him repotted into a new pot and he is going to look fantastic. He's really going to start taking off and growing. I'm not going to up his pot size much, but I am going to give him some fresh soil. And the reason I'm not putting him in a bigger container, even with the wind, like, you know, blowing him over, is I have a ceramic pot he is going to go into. So now he's repotted. He's going to go in the beautiful pot here. 
and then he'll get a good water tonight. You guys, if you are putting your plants in pots like this, normally your ceramic pots, unless you put holes in them yourself, they don't have them. So you will either have to pull your plant out to water or you're gonna need to put holes in here for drainage. Keep that in mind. But we'll keep an update, we'll keep watching out for him. He's gonna grow really beautifully. But he needs to repot it. All right. I don't know how many of you guys have philodendrons. All philodendrons, in my opinion, grow super, super, super fast. Um, so we are repotting a lot of philodendrons today. This one is probably already doubled in size since I brought him home. Beautiful. So I'm actually gonna put him in a pot that might be a little too big for him at the moment, but we're doing it anyway. Um, just because I'm running out of certain pots. You guys, I did put, um, sorry, I'm dropping money on my pocket. I did put holes in all of my containers. It's an absolute must happen. Put holes in your pots or you're gonna kill your plants and all your hard work goes down the drain. So take the time and do that. I feel like I've got so many plants that need repotted right now. It's just ridiculous. But it's perfect time to do it. Hold on, you guys, I need another bag of dirt. And you can see his roots are coming out. He definitely is going to need repotted. If I don't repot, if I didn't repot him now, he would need it in like a week or so. So we're just going to get that done now. So we'll put him in here. So pretty. Some of these plants, because I'm full on the front porch, are going to start going to the back porch. I have to pick out which ones I think can handle more sunlight because the back porch definitely gets more sunlight, afternoon sun especially. But my front is just getting too full. I love it though, but I can't walk through to hardly water them anymore. So that kind of makes it a problem. Shake that dirt off of him and there he is. He is I bet he outgrows this. We'll keep an eye on him too. He'll outgrow this pot by the end of the year, guaranteed. So there is that one. I have some of these smaller ones that need repotted. I don't want to repot them too big into too big of a container. So I think I'm just up in it one container size. Oh, and he's dry. He definitely needs new dirt because I just watered him the other night and he shouldn't be that dry. So good thing I'm watering him. He actually had roots coming out as well. His soil, his... Uh. I haven't repotted him since I got him in February. So that just goes to show you don't need to repot your plants right when you get them. Let them um, get used to your environment and your humidity and your lighting and all that different thing, all those different things. Um, don't bring them home and instantly think they need repotted, okay? They will grow just fine in the container they were in. So he is now repotted. We'll set him to the side. And then my next one, he's in a small pot. He is gonna, I'm gonna move him to the pot that that one was just in. Now you guys, you really should clean your pots. I haven't had, knock on wood, I haven't had any problems with bugs. Um, other than gnats, now that they're in and out all the time. Um, so I am just going to use that same container. And hmm. doesn't have a lot of root system. Maybe I should not have repotted him. That's all right. I already got it done now. And there he is. He is done. All right. I think this is my last philodendrium. He is going to go from a pot this size to probably a pot like this size. Um, you can tell he's fell over a couple times. He's missing soil in the top. 
Um, if you wanted to and you didn't want to repot him yet, you could just fill that back in and he'd be good to go. Um, but philodendrons, they do grow fast. So now is the time to repot if I'm going to do it. It's actually very wet. Try not to up your pot size too much. I know some of them I upsized a little too much, but know ahead of time why you're doing it. So philodendrons, they grow fast. I upsized a little, a little much on some of them, but that is a good up. It's a good size for him. All right. This arrowhead is not doing very well in this container. He is going to get repotted. Let's check out his roots. His roots are coming out the bottom. Take some of that bad dirt off of there. And we're just gonna put him in just a little. He was in this, he's going to this. Not much different in size. Just like that, he is done. You guys, I still like using the original nurse nursery containers. Um, they have holes. I get good drainage. Um, so if there are times where you have a plant like me, and it's in a nursery pot, and you have it outside and you don't want to upsize it, what I do is I take a container. Make sure it has holes in it as well, because when you water this plant, it's going to drip into here, so it needs to it needs to drip out. I can set it on like a brick or rocks or something in here for it to support it with the wind. Um, so he really does not need repotted. His roots are not coming out. The plant is doing fine. Um, so I'm not repotting him or upsizing him, but later on I will set him in a container to help block some of the wind and keep him from falling over all the time. So there is that one. I think this is my last one, you guys. This is my favorite Chinese evergreen ever. Um, he is falling over a lot. His roots are barely poking through. He wouldn't necessarily need a repot. He does look really good. Excuse me. However, he has fallen over in the wind all the time. I am going to move him to this size container. Um, I know it's a little bit big, but it will protect him from falling over and damaging his leaves. So I'm going to do that. He is just so beautiful. Oh, he is totally root bound. So I am glad that I'm repotting him. Things to look for, you guys. Root bound. He needed a new pot. So he should grow really nicely. I do go ahead and I knock some of the dirt off the top. All right. Then he's going to go in this container. Let me get some more dirt in it. I make such a mess doing this. So glad we're finally outside. Okay this beautiful silver bay in this container. Get them filled in quick. Right, he is done. He should fill this pot out really nicely. Um, and once I water them all tonight, I won't have to worry about him getting knocked over in the wind as much either. Um, but I wanted to show you all the plants that needed replanted or repotted and those that don't. Um, 
always try to find reasons not to repot your plants. Messing with that root system on some plants can really do some damage. On other plants, you know, ruining some roots is not a big deal. Um, but they don't always need potted into a bigger container. Try to keep that in mind. Um, let me show you this. He's been in this pot for all winter, since fall maybe. He's not getting repotted just because he's big and has all these leaves. His roots are doing well. He's holding really good color. Um, no reason to mess with him. So my suggestion when repotting is if your plant is doing fine and you can't see roots coming out of the bottom, do not, and I repeat, do not repot your plant. Let it be. Um, try not to put it in that shock to where all of a sudden the leaves are falling or you can't get the soil as wet anymore, whatever the case may be. Try not to repot if your plant doesn't need it. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great night. I will have a video coming soon um, of my vegetable garden. It's finally, I think it's almost done. I have a couple more things I have to plant, but that'll be coming here soon too. So look out for that. Other than that, you guys have a great night and thanks for watching.